I want to introduce you guys to the brand new third car. There it is. Hello, welcome back to Car Throttle. My name is Alex. I'm Jack. I'm Ethan. And in the third and final episode of our Trading Up series brought to you by our friends at Auto Trader, we are buying the holy grail, our final enthusiast car. We don't know what it is. Last week, we established how much money we had to spend on our second car after making a tidy little profit on our Volkswagen Up. After which, Thelma and Louise headed down to the south coast to pick up a BMW Z4 Coupe that they got for the bargain price of just £5,000. We then took the Z4 to BDS Motorsport for some maintenance fixes, before giving it a final spruce up to help ensure a strong profit. Okay, so Ethan, how much did we sell the BMW Z4 for? It was up for 7450 Yeah. We sold it for 7000 100 pounds. Oh, so we, good. we had 5,600 pounds. Yeah. We uh, spent five grand on the car, good price. Yeah. Uh, we spent uh, 310 pounds with Bruno at BDS. Yep. Uh, he did all the engine. Uh, we spent 150 pounds on the wheels from Bruno. And we just swapped over the tyres from the old wheels to the new wheels. Yeah, yep, did that. And then we spent about 150, 200 pounds on the number plates, the centre caps, the badges. One thing, also, yeah. we sold our old wheels for a hundred pounds. Yeah, just quick sale. We yeah. want to get rid of them. They're yeah. scuffed. They need a refurb. So we've got seven thousand two hundred. Oh, oh, that's oh, big money. That's good, isn't it? I just don't even know. Can you you can buy houses for that? Surely, I'm pretty right? sure. With yeah, our budget, I think you can. But genuinely, over two grand in profit from just two car sales is very good. Do we have any thoughts? What What do we want? I mean, S two thousands are kind of in that seven to eight thousand pound yeah. realms. But I just, I'm not the biggest fan. I just yeah. think they're just a little bit overrated. I don't massively. know if the leap between a Z4 and a, true. And a S2000 true. is big enough yeah. either. So we're on the Auto Trader website now, but before we do go and have a look, make sure that you guys check out and subscribe to the Auto Trader YouTube channel because it's all right, isn't it? Pretty good. Yeah, it's all right. Rory's reviews, he's quite laissez faire, he's very cool. <laughs> Rory just keep those checks you flowing. Gush uh -huh. over Rory every day. I do. Yeah. He's, been, he's a massive inspiration for you, isn't he? He is massive, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, let's not dilly dally. We've got 7.2k. Let's get on, crack on, and find out our next car. I'm going to go price from six and a half to. What are we thinking? Oh, nine. Ooh. Nine? <laughs> no. Nine? <laughs> I'm going to go eight and a half. Engine size, let's go straight. I'm going to go upwards of four and a half litres. A Chevrolet Caprice. We can't get that. Because it's too good? That's we could too... get that. No, that's a bit much. Oh my god, that looks ridiculous. About an M3 replica. <laughs> what? We could go to M3. <laughs> Rep. We'll have oh that my, that is so bad. <laughs> that is so bad. I don't think that person's ever seen an M3 before. <laughs> I, think, I think actually, even I could tell that is not an M3. Wait. Vauxhall Monaro? Does that mean anything to you? It's bright yellow. Seven and a half grand, and we've got seven two. We can get that for seven two. Oh, Easy great. peasy. Oh my god, the engine size 5.7 oh. liters, <laughs> and it's ULEDs free. So, <laughs> yes. is it? Yeah, it is so backwards. I isn't know, it? it's amazing. Put it in the maybe part. Oh, that's definitely going in the top, maybe a Q7. Oh my, Ethan, we're not buying oh, look for at you. That. In it's got a huge bash bar. Look at that. <laughs> Oh my god, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've yeah, got it. You're, not, you're gonna say no. It's six grand, so it's actually well under budget. Yeah. A Toyota Supra. A Mark oh. III. Oh. oh, it's rough. Oh, it's so f rough. <laughs> <laughs> it's excellent. Nissan 350Z. Is that a step up from a Z4? Well, no. I don't think oh, so. Oh, f me, right? Yeah. How about a Rover P6 V8? <laughs> Brown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Alfa Romeo. GTV, three litre V6 Busso. Look at that, I mean, look at that. Look at the rear of that. That is a great looking car. They don't make them like they used to, do they? They don't. Is that good looking though? Shut up. GTV, not a good looking car. Are you mad, bruv? Apparently so. How about an E30? What? No, no more business. Please, please, can we stop? They say, well, I can't remember how, how do you pronounce it when they're- Is um, that a Bauer? Yeah, that's it, Bauer. No. Are there any S2000s for that kind of price? Yes. It's probably hundreds of them. Yeah, there's a couple. Common as muck they are. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's got one of them. <laughs> How about an Audi 80 2 litre Sport? Oh yeah, that's cool. That is really cool. 
That's lovely, isn't it? That is really good. Shall I save that? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to put this S2000 in the list. Uh, yeah, you are. Just to shut you up. I've just come full circle back to the Monara. <sighs> right, I'm going to give him a few hours. He's going to be calling me back and we're going to be doing it. He might a deal. be at work, he might call you at yeah. five, yeah. six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, this is a reward for us doing hard work. So we want to go balls out, don't we? And this is balls out. <laughs> yeah, that's silly. Yeah. And it's got space enough for three of us. Yeah. Right, I think we have come to the end of our searching journey. So I'm going to keep on phoning Monaro Man uh, and we'll just keep on, yeah, checking the Auto Trader website. But for now, I'm out. Right, so today is the day of reckoning. Remember, we started with an up, moved on to a Z4, and then we wanted to end on a high, something V8, something enthusiast, something a little bit crazy. I was after a Monaro, I had to look high and low for the perfect one. So I want to introduce you guys to the brand new third car. There it is. It's a, it's a Porsche 944. Couldn't get the Monaro, <laughs> but, I think that's a good omen because the 944 is a car that we've actually spoken about. So much. So much yeah. in so many videos. Plus, did you know that my mum used to have one of these? Uh, so When, when we I was a young boy traveling from, uh, to Germany back and forth, my mum used to have one and we were driving in a um, Ford Granada and it broke down and then we were passing a dealership and uh, there we just needed a quick car, you know, to get us by. And there was a grey 944, so we bought it. So I have mentioned it once or twice. Once or twice, yeah. Okay. I know the story off by heart. <laughs> <laughs> we are super, super excited about this. These cars are only increasing in value as well, so it's a good investment car. And look at it. Oh, oh before we do the whole, I'm gonna go speak to the owner thing, um, I got too excited. I've already done the deal. The car was up for 6,995. We've got it for 6,700 pounds, which I think is a very yeah. fair price. The documentation on this car will blow your minds. But first, let's have a little walk around my, my. I'll show you my brand. car quickly. Yeah. It's, it's, my, it's, my, it's my history. I grew up with 944, you didn't. Let me make some history though. You can't make with history. The car. reason it's called history is because it's already happened. The present that's... is a gift though, so. Touche. It is a 2.5 1983. 944, it's got the turbo alloy wheels on it. It's had a bit of a kind of light respray a few years ago. Tim had owned it for about five years. He spent about 10 grand, he reckons, getting it to the sh shape that it is. But there is not a spot of rust. What do you think of this? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? When we first saw it, I thought, we're buying this. I'm buying. I'm, uh, we're thought, buying. I'm buying. Alex is buying. Sorry, this. I'm buying. Alex this, yeah. is. You, you're not calling it. I just thought, Alex will, Alex will buy this for me. You don't <laughs> fit in. Why don't I have it? Yeah, I'll sell it to you. 10 grand, mate. Yeah? Let's talk numbers. It's got a new back box. The underneath is pristine. Like I said, not a spot of rust. Everything just looks spot on. It is very, very well cared for, very well maintained. Shall I grab the booklet? You talk the guys around the car a little bit okay, more. I'll go well, grab the booklet. Should we dip into the interior and we'll but have a look there? Into my interior. No, my, I'll show you my interior. Dip into my interior. Let me just open my door quickly. Oh, listen to the age. That's the sound of the 80s. <laughs> Brown and red. Pretty good nick, isn't it? Most my, my seat's torn. The, yeah, my, my, my passenger seat's a little bit little bit torn. Not an original wheel, but you know. I'm all right with that though, with my car. I'm it's okay. Fine. Unfortunately though, like being my car, it's quite annoying that... Um, well, it's not your car if anything's annoying. I'm a bit you don't fit in my car, do you? I feel like I'm steering with my nuts out. <laughs> oh, it's just so cool. I mean, the dash is a bit cracked. Do you want to have a quick look at the service documentations and everything. I mean, I've, I've never seen this much paperwork in my life. Uh, and certificate of authenticity. Here's the certificate, model year type, production completion date, 08-03-1983. So it is two years older than me. Wow. I know. That's not right, because that doesn't say 1963. <laughs> this is the uh, service history booklet. All original, and yeah. look at the condition of that as well. Yeah. I've, I've kept this really well. You have kept it really nice for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I even like that, like, oh. I mean, who does, who does that? So good to see, and so confidence inspiring. And there we go, this is when Tim bought the car. Is this what you had done to it straight yeah, after? Yeah, pretty much yeah. straight away. So there was a lot of work that was done. There we go, there's a big one. £3,273. Yeah. And then the exciting bit as well. How amazing is that? That's wicked. I love seeing oh, this. I need to keep up with and keep on top of the... Um, of my car? Of you looking at, why are you looking after my car? Well, no, I wouldn't be looking after Well, you are looking after my car, because this is my car. We've established that. Well, I'm in the driver's seat. 
You can't even drive it. Look at your, <laughs> your gangly legs. <laughs> We've bought a lot of cars at Car Throttle. Yeah. Is this the best one we've bought? I think it's definitely uh, top yeah, three. Yeah, probably up there. Yeah. I'll have to think because the Space Star is a great car. Completely different league, isn't it? It's like you can't even compare it to other stuff that we've bought. They've all been 500 pound yeah. ship boxes with half a million miles. I think this is this is easily the most iconic car and I think this is also the car that's going to get under our skin. We're planning on taking this on a little road trip, aren't we? We are. So there's three of us. There are. So we're going in the back? Well, one of you two has to go in the back because I'm driving. Well, my I'll car. be driving, so I'm, we need to. You're not insured. I'll be driving your car. Should we make sure we can get in the back? All right. Well, yeah. Let's give it a little go. Let's go for my driving position. Careful. 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 See? Like a glove. <laughs> Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh no, I don't know about this. That's all right. <laughs> I don't know about this. Oh, I'm, so, I'm this is too close. I can smell you. <laughs> I can feel you inside me. It's good, right? It's, it's not good. There's um, loads of space. You have to be like a quaver to fit in these seats. <laughs> and I can even use your knees and arm <laughs> Don't here. do that. It's good, that. I like that. I could use both of your knees. Ethan can steer. <laughs> good. Proper family car. And if you fold the seats down as well, or the seat down, the backrest down, then you've got yourself an estate. I want to see that. Yeah, let's, I want to see Let's it. have a quick look. I can't actually remember. Oh, you don't know your own car very well, do you? What was that? You don't know your own car very well. No, you're right. I don't know my own car very well. Wait, no, I mean, you don't know my car well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. I do know my car. Look at that. You have a touring. We're going to be able to fit so many drift spares in here. Jack, no. <laughs> not, don't even joke about that. <laughs> I'm waiting? so excited. Who's waiting for Alex to climb in? I bet I can't get in my own car. <laughs> Careful with my car. I could I could do a whole journey in this. This is like a camper as well. Yes, I, the best version of any Porsche. Picture the scene. It's, and you, I can, you're, you're in the campsite, you're on the beach. I, I can the sleep night in sky. this. You just look, look up through the window. Are sleep, we both I'm talking having about a different nap. things? I can't really hear him. I'm sleeping. So comfortable. That was the best. You're stretched out as well. You're, yeah, you're I'm, fully I'm stretched fully, out. Fully, fully extended. This is the model without the boot release. Yeah. You're oh, this is actually... Out. I'm so comfortable, but I'd actually like to get out because I'm just too comfortable. Great car. Should we have a quick look at the engine? So, um, 2.5 litre. Uh, remind me, uh, engine, uh, Ethan. Um, mm. Should we start it up? Yeah. Let's do that. Where's the key? Have you got my key? I haven't got my key. I've got my key. Don't worry, I've got my have key. Have you got my key, have you? So the engine is warm, or my engine is warm. That sounds great. Just dad ass. So good, you just gotta get low and appreciate oh, it. Oh yeah, look at it. But this, oh. We have talked about these off, off camera mostly. Yeah. For so long. Yeah. And we've really, really wanted to try one of these out. And now we're finally bought so one. So happy, yeah. I'm, I'm happy that I bought one. I'm really happy with my purchase. You're happy that I bought one. For me. Shut up. <laughs> Sound in it for a four pot. Very responsive little motor. Overall, I love it. I really love it. I dig it. You should buy it. I should. Yeah. Should buy it. I was talking to Jack. Oh. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, you're right. Why I would should. he buy my car? You buy my car? Why would I buy my own car? I'm not selling my car, Jack, so I'm afraid it's not for sale. I'm not buying your car. You, well, you would car. be buying, Jack, you would be buying my car because this is my car. I'm driving it. I am the custodian. I'm the one with the history. Did I, I tell you about my Maybe mama? I should buy it. No. Back to my car. What do we think? We're on a nice flowing mirror road. This is where my car was designed to really Ooh, shine. We've got a nice corner here. We do have a nice corner. Yeah. Let's hope that it's a nice open corner because the steering is very... Oh. 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 <laughs> Listen to it. Oh. Oh. Also question. Why did you guys dress exactly the same? I, I think Jay, it's, Jay dressed like me. No, I think it's because I'm Ethan's hero, so. Did you guys just wake up in the morning, look at each other and just nod? <laughs> oh, I need to change. I can't, <laughs> I can't dress the same as you. <laughs> Ouch. 
I am absolutely loving these seats. Yeah. I just want to play a game of chess back here. I know, it is good, isn't it? You're more checkers. <laughs> it yeah. is quite fun, just three of us being in it, going yeah, around yeah. these roads. Yeah. So I'm enjoying it. I mean, it'd be nicer if you weren't here. Uh, I would uh, probably enjoy it a lot uh, more by myself. This has got to be the coolest car we've bought. Yeah. It's the nicest, uh, for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm a little bit parched because obviously the aircon is, is non-existent. So why don't we go to a pub? I know a great one that's actually named after you. And we uh, quench our thirst. You up for that? Down. You know, we've done, what, 60 miles and the motor is, is really good. I really, really love it. It's just quite nice back there. When you when you lean over and your head's not bumping the headlining, it's like it's okay. The pop-ups work, it's a classic car, it's a bit of me. It's a bit of all of us really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well not you, you have no history with it. <laughs> I think this is um just a really nice car to end on. We've got a usable daily driver classic that's only going one way in appreciation. And it is the polar opposite to the up that we had. Yeah. I think you can't you can't really not like it. I think objectively pretty. Yeah. Shall we down our drinks and then uh, do a bit more driving ahead to Caffeine Machine? Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. To my car. To my car. I think because you probably want to drive this least, yeah. I think you should drive it. I'm sacrifice my go in it for Ethan to oh, have a go. Are you also <laughs> admitting that this is my car and not your car? No, I'm not what I'm saying. Well, I'm giving uh, Ethan permission to drive my car. No, 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 no. Can I not just stay back here? No. But shotgun not going in the back when you're driving. Yeah! Now we're going to have to decide it how we decided how I'm in the back. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Yes! Amazing! Amazing. Right. Curse these mental guys. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, and that's also my driving position. Joe, I'm pretty sure this is the oldest car I will have driven. Really? Yeah. Careful! Careful with my car! What are you doing? Is that where you need to be? I think. Yeah, there yeah. I might as well be on your shoulders. <laughs> oh, go on, that. Yes. Oh! No airbags, no safety systems at all, no ABS, no traction control. Stop talking about that when I'm in the back of this. <laughs> God, the steering is so stiff. <laughs> yeah, you feel everything. Yeah, don't you? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's cool. It's, yeah. it's just cool, isn't it? It is really cool, yeah. yeah. Pretty much everyone I've spoken to has got a story about a 944, whether it's a parent who had yeah, one or a yeah. friend who bought one new. Whoa! Whoa what are you doing? <laughs> I keep forgetting about the clutch. Well, that well, it has they... one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well done, Ethan. Oh, yeah, yeah, proud of you. Guy, man. With our afternoon drive behind us, we headed over to a familiar location to catch up with our mate, Auto Traders Rory Reed. You join us at Caffeine and Machine. To my right is Auto Traders. Rory Reed, how you doing, man? I'm all right, mate. Yeah, good to see you. Very good. Yes, it is nice to see me. Anyway, uh, we've invited Rory down because we've obviously bought our third car. What we're going to do is we're going to get Rory to try and choose the car that we have purchased. Remember, we started with five grand, bought yep. an up, flipped yep. it, made some money, bought a Z4, flipped it, made some money, and yep. our final cost that we could spend on a car, seven two. Yeah, okay. So the idea is what well, I've got to like identify the car you've bought. Yeah. Rory, is it this car? No. Okay. Next. All right, shall we go for a walk? All right, where we go? Could be in a lease. Oh, could it? Yeah. Do you know what? It, it's too clean. It's too clean. This is not a car throttle car. 944. Yeah. This is on the short list. Is it? Yeah. Oh. This is on the short list. But hold on, let me just try and work out if there's anything that would rule this out. I think you would have fixed the seats. It's definitely not that, mate. No? It could be this, though. Oh. CLS. Oh, it's been lowered. I know you wouldn't buy a lowered car. Really? No, nah, I think you'd be like, nah, too, it's too modified. Am I not cool enough for a no, lowered you're car? No, you're not cool enough. It does, look, it does look all right, though. It does. What about that e-tron? e-tron, that's mine. I came in that. OK, that's definitely not it. RS e-tron, so that, it's not going to be a 430. That's for damn MR2 sure. replica. 350, someone's in it, so it's not that. Oh, well, he could, he could work for car throttle. Do you know what? When I parked up, I saw that and I thought, that is a strong shout. Ooh. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. It's not very clean though, is it? Let's be honest. It's clean enough. Also, potentially a backward step. Potentially, but you're right. You're right. Is it Se more- Seating position is also way too far back. Is it more aspirational than a Z4? Probably not. Another 350. Oh, that's, that's interesting. I do like an E39 Touring. 
Do you? But it's not that. Nice car though. It Is can't that a 530? be that. It can't be that. What's in your top three? The Porsche 944, one of the 350Zs, uh -huh. and maybe a motorbike. <laughs> maybe a motorbike. This is literally make or break for the auto it's that trader Porsche. YouTube. It's that Porsche, isn't it? What do you reckon? It's 944. Rory? I hate to tell you. It's 944. It's a 944! Get in! Yeah! <laughs> Should we go and check out the car? I want to show you around because it is so awesome. That's mega. Let's go. My God, no, you've done properly well, mate. Yeah? I actually, this is on my, like, my own personal shortlist of cars that really? like, yeah, I'd, I'd love to like, you know, at least have a go in, maybe own one day. So, so oh, you want to buy, you, well, chances we, are we, we might talk. be putting this on the Auto Trader website. Well, we can talk, we can talk, we definitely, can talk, yeah. yeah. But, but that, like, that 100% in terms of going from a basic everyman car to an enthusiast car, yep. absolutely smashed it. Oh, yeah, mate. yeah. Should be quite warm, so you can give it a few revs. Listen to that fruity exhaust. This is proper. Yeah? <laughs> this is absolutely proper. <laughs> no power steering, no creature comforts. It feels so good as it well. It does, and it smells like I imagine you would smell if you were a car. Old. Nice. Absolutely smashed it. Well Thank done. you very much. Yep. We have got the, uh, the okay from the big man, Mr. Rory Reed. That is how you trade. trade up. So Rory, it is now debrief time. Um, I think what we've done is actually really cool. Remember, we bought an up, and then we moved on to a Z4. We made good money on the Z4, yeah. and here we are, cafe in a machine. And it happens to also be a Porsche club event. Are you proud of us, Rory? Have I'm we well done, happy, mate. I'm, have I'm, we done what you set us? Absolutely. Out to do? So at the beginning, the brief was to go from a basic entry-level car, flip it, and then get to an enthusiast car. And I was really intrigued to see how far you'd get up the ladder whether it's something that I would actually want to drive, but you've more than smashed it, mate. You've oh, done it, yes. you've done it. Yeah, we're done, yeah. lads. We've, we've done, done well. Yeah. You're all welcome. You are so well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you're welcome. Have you enjoyed it, though? That's the question. It's been really good. Yeah. It's been really insightful as well, and I won't lie, it's been a lot of work because trying to figure out the right car at the right price has been difficult, it's been challenging. I think that's the biggest challenge I've found is where cars are priced, I'm not too sure. Yeah. But the Z4, I worked out quite quickly, that was a good price yeah. for it, I think. Yeah. And to be honest, also... we had Auto Trader telling us it's a good oh, yeah, price. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. 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 This is a car that we've spoken about so for often. years, yeah. Mm. Yeah. but we've never actually acted on. Yeah. And you know, I've got history with it. You've you know? spoken about it for decades. I have, yeah, yeah. yeah. My mum used to have a future with it. <laughs> no, you haven't. You have, I mean, you have no future with car throttle, full stop. <laughs> you keep on going like oh, that. Okay. <laughs> But no, I think we're all super happy, and even Ethan likes the car, so. That's how you know it's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's how you know. Rory, thank you very much for, from the beginning, setting us this awesome challenge. Yeah. Uh, and now, you know, yeah. look where we've ended up. Cafe and Machine, yeah, yeah. Porsche club event with our Porsche 944. Yeah, my pleasure, guys. Thanks for doing it. Um, and also, maybe we'll have to do it again at some point. Yeah. If you want to see another Trading Up series with Rory and Auto Traders, then let us know in the comments. Yeah. But, one, one more thing. Oh, yeah. Everyone. Go and subscribe to also trade this YouTube channel. Start, I was about to pick you up. <laughs> Great minds. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, watch a proper channel. Des yeah. Desperation here, but. Uh, <laughs> fair play, though, but um, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, Rory is very average at his job. No, 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 sorry, that, no, that came out that wrong. That came out really wrong. <laughs> uh, no, the, the reviews that Rory does on Auto Trader are by far the best reviews. I think we all very agree. Yeah. You especially agree, don't you? But you're I, not I biased. Agree. No. Yeah, at all. Uh, so make sure that you guys all subscribe to the Car Throttle, no, sorry, Auto Trader, auto -trader uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this series, then make sure you subscribe to Car Throttle as well by clicking on this link. Check out the videos that we've done with Rory down there and again uh, link in the description to the Auto Trader YouTube channel will be below and also somewhere over there. Yes, floating. Yeah, floating. Yeah. But um, for now, enjoy the ambiance. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right, armrest